Hey, what is up everybody? It is Nolan Shell coming back to you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to go over some sarcophagus crewing. The most <laughs> disliked ship in the game, but they've been pushing a lot of territory capture stuff in the game. So, might as well go over it. And I'm a little sick right now, so give me a little because my voice might sound different. Or I might be coughing in this video because my throat hurts pretty bad. Alright, so if you guys didn't know, I was at the hospital the other day, so... Throwing out there. All right, so don't forget to like, the subscribe, that bell notification down below. Remember below that in the see more. Click that see more. Come join my Discord. Under that are donation links. There's a tiny route, which is a PayPal, and there is a Cash App link. And then under that is a join button. Become a member for two, five, ten, or twenty bucks a month, and go follow my Twitch. All right, so we're gonna get into sarcophagus crane. So let me fix this ship right here. Gotta pull this link up so I can see it better. And let's open the sarco. Ooh, my throat is hurting right now. Woof. So, we're looking at a sarcophagus. This big of a beast of a ship that most of you should have by now or have chosen not to get. But we can go over some crewing ideas for it. Right now, I just have my, um, my, what is this? My Armada crew. And we don't have any spots to open it up. So, we're going to have to move stuff around technically. Actually, let's put the Stark in another spot because I have more crews in another spot. So, let's put that there. Let's grab you. Grab you. Boom. So, we're looking at right here. So, there's a few crews you can work with. Like, there's a basic one that people like to use. is going to be... Boom, boom, boom. Where's Pike at? We want Pike. Since he's on another ship, it's going to ask us, do you want to take him off? Pike. Then we've got Harrison. If you guys have Harrison, remember some people have him, some people don't, which is unfortunate. He's a great officer to have, just especially for the Sarko. So, uh, probably scooted by him. Con should be right there. What's Harrison? Well, we want Harrison, so. But, let me remember his one. 30%. Do you want that mud or the other mud? Oh, Harrison's right there. So, we want to grab Harrison. Yeah. Let me discard that. Throw the Enterprise in place. And we want, like I said, we want Harrison up there. We want Pike, of course. So, Pike should be right here. Boom. There's Pike. And then, in the grouping wise, we had to look at. I'm trying to remember if it's uh, since the Sarko has no hull or no uh, shielding, really. We want to either go from because we can use normal mud or skinny mud, which is when the shields are depleted, gives you 250% more damage for combat, which is nice. Or we can look at this one. Haircut mud is 30% chance of doubling the first. See, that one doesn't work, so you would want to use here. Boom. And you would have this setup. Why would you have this setup for a sarcophagus? One, Pike gives you the combat abilities. Once you have Pike here, it makes you ignore 100% of the damage in the first round. And then when you're down, you have mud doing more damage, which increases the ability of the Sark. Other crews you can go with is Empress Gigi, Killy. Harrison, or you can go with, I'm starting to think he might be a good one for it too. So you can do Honor Guard Wharf, you could, and then like, mm, 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 mm. you could throw Gorkin on there, which you're gonna do more damage because you have him there. Or let's go grab Gorkin off the wing. So where's Gorkin hiding at? Let's go by group or by uh, strength again. Gorkin should be pretty close up front. So you can Gorkin, boom, go by his group. And then I think we want Curla. 30% damage, throw Curla up there. And then you could use, I think it's Astabur or Acid Burr, whatever you call it. You can do Acid Burr. So those are your ones you could use there in that one because since some of you guys may not have them, or may not have like Harrison, you may not have MGG, you may not have Killy. Those are other options. So MGG, Killy, Harrison's a great one. Pike, Skinny Mud, 
Harrison, and then we could go, we could put Lorca in the same place, and then if we're going pure PvP, we're on a node, I'm thinking Honor Guard Wharf would be a good one, since his main ability, since some of you guys may not have him, but he's PvP, and you're on a PvP and a PvP ship technically, his main ability. Uh, Honor Guard Wharf increases the armor piercing the ship, which is good because you'll rip right through him. And first eight rounds in combat. So you can go Honor Guard Wharf. Boom. Grab Gorkin. Or Lorca. Either or because it depends on what you have. Lorca, 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 Lorca. I mean Gorkin because I don't have Lorca. And you can throw a Khan in that place. Boom. Or you could throw a Harrison on that corner. So your first one round you're doing a big thump right away so let's go find harrison du -du 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 -du. my harrison i think you believe he's tier three now so john harrison throw him there your first round you can just do a one pump and then the rest six rounds you can still alive those are possible crews you can use for it i know there are many others um, i want to hear what you guys say for crew in the sarcophagus please comment down below i i wish i had a little more crews but my mind's cloudy. I'm working with what little information I have. I know I have the Enterprise on the side, but we are crewing for the sarcophagus. And remember to build up your defense and health on the bottom of your ship. You want to have all your stats up there. Attack, of course, because that's what you're mainly doing. Your Sarko is going to be your basically three round, four round ship. And after that, you're basically just petering at that point. It's all you want to do. Um, the Sark's a good ship just for territory capture. Remember, as long as it's on a node or if it's on a mining node. Or if you're actually attacking a node during a TC, it works. So if like you can somehow get that slow beast in there and hit a hit a node, a TC node or a mining node, your abilities are gonna work. Your abilities are gonna work, and that's basically it. Don't forget to like, and that subscribe, that bell notification down below. Right below that, in the see more, click to see more. Come join the Discord. Under that are two donation links. Either. The tiny route, which is a PayPal, and the Cash App, which is well a Cash App. And then under that is a join button. And become a member for one, two, five, ten, or twenty bucks a month to help out the channel greatly. Remember, this is my main source of income. And remember below that, uh, come join my Twitch. That's the most important thing because that's more of the uncensored me, the more fun me. Come join me. I have streams scheduled three times a week on there from seven to nine, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Sunday. All right, guys. It is no one shall sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.